Hello and welcome back to Polycrub Diaries. Got a few changes to show you, been up to quite a few bits and bobs. Uh, the first is this cold frame. Oh, there goes the, uh, the automatic watering kit. You can hear the pump going just now. So that was probably good timing that I was uh, outside for when that's coming on. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. So this is our cold frame. It's just been built and made out of some sections of wood here to make the frame. And then along the sides, um, again, just some scrap wood that we had lying about to do the sides. And also the back. And at the bottom, uh, these are just off cuts of um, kind of plastic uh, trailer board that we had. So I'm hardening off some broccoli, some butternut squash here, uh, some courgette here, and the idea is that we'll be able to get those planted out reasonably soon, out into the veg plot. And this is my perpetual spinach, and it's the same idea with that as well, get that planted out soon. The lid has just been made from spare sheets and spare screws and washers uh, that we used on the polycrub itself. So if you have a polycrub and you fancy making yourself a cold frame and you have some plastic sheeting left over, um, well this is the design that we've come up with. Also took some wood off the bottom here, which now means that the door opens and closes without catching and we'll get some linseed oil on that to stop it swelling again. So the watering system, it's just finished its uh, daily water in the morning here. What I will need to do now is get some sort of latch on the inside because uh, the door's now <laughs> very easily opened. Um, so I'll get a wee bit of rope or something and a latch so I can secure it when I'm inside. Right, onto the plants and the veg. Um, so this was the gutter bed that I put up. So you can see the, the green salad's doing brilliant. And a few of the other kind of mixed salads. And then at the end here, this is the rocket. Spring onions are coming on. This over here is my chocolate mint. And oh, it has a lovely smell to it. These are chives that are coming back after the, uh, the sheep got to them and ate some of them. In this bed, uh, I think it's been a bit hot for the pak choy. So that's uh, unfortunately all gone to seed. So I'm going to have to get that out and I'm about to plant some more pak choy and it might just go out in the cold frame, I think. Almost all of the pumpkins are up. You can see there's just another one coming up there. And then... The cauliflowers, those are all almost ready to be planted to a bigger pot. Uh, these smaller ones here are the cucamelons, not grown those before. So that should be interesting to see what those look like. In here is red cabbage. Uh, those were just planted a couple of days ago, so those aren't doing much as yet. And then at the end we have our bl kale blue scotch. You can see here. There's a lot of tomatoes are self-seeding from last year, just from the fruits uh, that fell into the soil. A couple of melons up here as well. Um, green beans, doing great here. I'm just about to plant some more of those. And these green beans, those will go out into the cold frame very shortly. More perpetual spinach. A couple of green beans still coming up here. And... These are the aubergine and those are the sweet pepper. Over here, the Swiss chard. Uh, some of those are pretty much ready to be planted into bigger pots. The goji berries are doing well there. The other change is that we have moved this shelf over to that side from this side because uh, with the sprayers there, it was getting hosed. Let's have a wee look over here. So here we have the shooting star courgette, 
just in at the back here. Yeah, that one as well. Uh, a couple of the early sprouting purple broccoli. These are butternut squash. The uh, hunter is a variety. Over here, these are some Swiss chard. And finally, at the front here, these ones here are tomato plants. Things are looking good outside as well as inside the polycrub. Uh, down here, the peas are starting to grow. Uh, I think the mice seem to be quite keen on those, unfortunately. Um, so some of them have been getting eaten. In the corner here, that's the potatoes starting to come up. Over here, the onions and the garlic are doing well. At this bed at the end, I have made some frames ready to put the mesh on to protect the veg when I plant it out shortly. I've made the frames from willow, so just cut to length and then just, as you can see, they're pretty flexible. So just bent them over and then pushed them into the ground. And the idea will be to then cover everything with some mesh to protect any of the plants I've got here. Today's job is to take these veg plants out of the cold frame and we're going to get them planted into the veg patch. I've got my netting here and over here these are some of the veg plants that are going in. The veg is going to be planted just over here. I've got some stones from last year with the names of what I'm going to plant. I'll also be planting my perpetual spinach out. I'm just looking at my dwarf French beans here, seeing that they have been munched. And lo and behold, I think I've found the culprit. This rather grotesque looking large slug has obviously been helping itself to my spinach. This one here actually ate right at the base, so I'm not too impressed by that. I'll show you what I've done. So over here on the inside of the mesh, I've planted my dwarf French beans. That'll hopefully give them a wee bit of protection from whatever's eating the peas down here. This is my mesh in, in the background there. So that's keeping my spinach and my broccoli safe at the moment, hopefully. And in the foreground here, these are the courgettes. This is butternut squash. So I do have more to plant out, but just in case something decides to eat these or it suddenly gets cold, uh, I'm just going to leave it for a bit before transplanting the others out. <laughs> 